This is question 10 from paper 2 from the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. We're given the position of three boys in a boat race, A, B and C. We're told that B from A is on a bearing of 60 degrees. And we're asked to find the size of angle B, A, B, C in this triangle. Now you'll notice in this triangle we have all three sides given to us. And I've put up here the cosine rule that you're given in your exam. Two versions of it. This second version on the right hand side has nothing but side lengths. The little a, little b and little c. And on the left there's an angle. So cos a b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc. Now in this case, it's angle b that we're trying to find. So let's write down in triangle abc, use the cosine rule. And we would have cos b is equal to a squared plus c squared minus b squared all over 2ac. So that follows the same pattern as this, where we've got this angle a, little b and little c, that's the other letters. This is angle b, little a and c, that's the other two letters. And then here we've got a minus a squared, which matches the the angle A, it's op the side opposite big angle A. So this is the little side opposite angle B, little b. That's angle B. And then on the bottom we've got the same 2BC, the same two letters that appear up here. So AC, same two letters that appear up there. So you've got to be able to translate this formula into the situation that you're using. So doing substitutions now, little a, remember the, the side opposite angle a is little a, the side opposite angle c is little c, and the side opposite angle b is little b. So that's the labels that we're using. So little a is 11, little c is 8, and little b is 13 over twice 11 times 8. So calculate this and that'll give us the cosine of angle B. So it's the whole of this top line divided by the whole of this bottom line. So I'm going to use brackets for that. So it's brackets 11 squared plus 8 squared minus 13 squared. So close my brackets. That will calculate the whole of the top line. Then we have to divide, and I'm going to start a new set of brackets, 2 times 11 times 8. Close my brackets. So all of this divided by all of this. That, these brackets are absolutely vital. So there's the value that I get, and that's the cosine of B. So cosine of B is equal to 0 0.0909, etc. Now, inverse cosine, to get rid of this, will give us b. And we do the inverse cosine of this. So we're taking the inverse cosine of both sides. Now, in this calculator, it's a cos and it would be of this answer. And close my brackets. And make sure that you're in degree mode. And that gives me... eighty-four point seven eight and so on. So it would approximate that to 84.8 degrees. So that's part A. 
I've calculated the size of angle ABC as 84.8. So part B, we're asked to work out this shaded angle. Now, there's a F shape in this drawing. Since these two north lines are parallel, if I extend this line backwards, I'm getting a 180 degree angle here, which would imply that this angle is 120, and this one, which corresponds to this one, would be also 120 degrees. We've already worked out that this is 84.8 degrees, so this angle is going to be 360 degrees, that's the complete turn, minus whatever these other two angles come to. So it's 360 minus 204.8. And if we work that out, use the calculator just to make sure I'm making no mistakes. And that comes to 155.2 degrees. And that's to one decimal place. And better just check that the question doesn't ask us for any accuracy, particular accuracy. It doesn't mention an accuracy, so that would be fine. So the shaded angle is 155.2 degrees.